A very good evening, students. This is a chapter from the general anatomy, and the name of the chapter is joints. Under the chapter of joints, you must have read many types of joint, but the synovial joint is the joint which is most commonly found in our body. That means most of the joint in our body they are of synovial variety. Okay. Now in this video we will learn about the structure of a synovial joint now in this art diagram if you will see there are two articulating bones which they meet at one particular point and their articulating ends are covered by the cartilage and this cartilage is hyaline in nature and this articular cartilage which covers the end uh, of the bones okay which will come in contact with each other is called as the articular cartilage. So this is the articular cartilage. Okay. Then the other structure in synovial membrane is that of the capsule. This is a fibrous capsule which surrounds the ends of the uh, bones which take part in formation of the synovial joint. So this is called as the capsule. And since it is ends are surrounded by the capsules, there is a cavity inside, okay? And this cavity is called as the synovial cavity, okay? This is the synovial cavity. Now, this synovial cavity itself is lined by a membrane which is called as the synovial membrane. So, beneath the capsule, all around it is surrounded by the synovial membrane. So this is the structure of a synovial joint and we will learn this structure of a synovial joint in detail here, okay, in detail. So if you see the synovial joint, it consists of the many uh, parts, okay, it consists. So the synovial joints consist of the following different parts. Number one, it is articular cartilage, then comes the articular fibrous capsule, synovial membrane, ligaments, and articular disc or menisci. So we will learn the structure of a synovial joint under these different five headings, okay? Let us come to the first heading here, and that is the articular cartilage. Okay, see in this diagram, these are the two bones which are taking part in formation of a joint which is a synovial variety. The ends of these long bones are covered by the articular cartilage as I just said you which is hyaline cartilage. Okay, now this articular ca hyaline cartilage okay, is covering to those ends of the long bones which forms the joint and which comes in contact with each other okay thus these articular surfaces of the bones are covered by the <coughs> articular cartilage which is hyaline so at some time this hyaline cartilage is i mean say replaced by the fibrous cartilage so instead of the hyaline cartilage there comes the fibrous cartilage but it is rarely it occurs okay now this articular cartilage which is covering to this these ends of the bones, okay, they are, uh, I mean, say, provides a slippery surface or a smooth surface, okay, and this smooth surface is necessary for the frictionless movements of the joints, okay, of the joint. Now, this hyaline cartilage which is covering to the ends of the bones it is also helpful in the absorption of the shock there will be lost of the impact of forces and this forces will be absorbed by this uh, hyaline cartilage bone is hard because it contains the calcium but cartilage is firm it is not hard because it doesn't contain the calcium salt so the shock absorption is also provided by this articular cartilage so this completes our first uh, structure of a synovial joint and that is the articular cartilage okay this is the articular cartilage right so let's come to the second component 
of the synovial joint and this is articular capsule okay this articular capsule it joins the two articulating bones okay proximal and distal bone let me draw this uh, with the green color the articular capsule it is made up of the fibrous tissue and that is collagen fibrous tissue so i am drawing this article uh, this capsule in the green color okay as the connective tissue hmm, it is made up of the fibrous connective tissue and that is collagen variety okay fiber is collagen so this is the articular capsule which connects the ends of the two articular bones so i will just write here as articular capsule it surrounds the ends of the two bone completely all around like a sleeve okay it like a sleeve sleeve and because of this complete surrounding the ends of the two bone there appears a cavity and this cavity is called as the synovial cavity uh, so the, which is the characteristic of the synovial joint that is always a cavity is present here at the ends of the long bones which forms the synovial joint hmm? this cavity which is called a synovial cavity okay it consists of or it contains the synovial fluid which is a lubricating fluid okay it is a lubricating fluid now this uh, articular capsule which is made up of the collagen fiber is attached at the ends of the bone little away from the articular cartilage which i have drawn in blue color and this is attached little away from that of the articular cartilage on the periosteum you know that hmm, bones are covered by the membrane known as periosteum to this periosteum this articular cartilage is attached okay attached hmm. now this uh, synovial i mean say this articular caps capsule okay it is uh, supplied by the nerves very rich in nerve supply so pain is felt from the joints through this articular capsule is stretching or tearing or the injury so it is rich in the sensory nerve supply similarly it is uh, rich in the blood supply also okay it and this nerves and blood vessels they pierce this articular capsule to go deeper structure hmm? and we will see the deeper structure deep to the articular cut cut this capsule is the membrane known as the synovial membrane so now we move to the third component of the synovial joint and it is the synovial membrane here okay i will draw this synovial membrane with the red color okay now there are actually two layers of this membrane the inner layer is made up of the epithelium okay which are sometimes known as synovial cell and this synovial membrane or the synovial cell layer is resting on the connective tissue layer which is quite thin and this synovial membrane is very vascular that means it is richly supplied and it is supplied by the blood vessels which were piercing to this articular capsule okay now this synovial membranes it lines the articular capsule the inner surface i am just drawing with the red color this is the synovial membrane which surrounds the inner surface of the complete articular capsule not only it supplies the articular capsule but then it reflects on to the non articular part of the bone okay that is to the uh, just on the surface of the periosteum which is within the capsule intracapsular part of the bone which is non-articular non means which is not coming in contact with the opposite bone okay but this is the non and it is not covered by the hyaline cartilage so that part of the bone which is not covered by hyaline cartilage but it is intracapsular is also covered by the synovial membrane which then reflects onto the under surface of the hmm, this car, uh, capsule under surface like that okay like this so 
the all the part except the hyaline cartilage or articular cartilage which is not covered by the synovial membrane all other intracapsular part they are covered by the synovial membrane okay now this membrane as i said it secretes a lubricating fluid the oily fluid okay which is helpful in the uh, just to minimize uh, the friction between the two articular surfaces or hyaline cartilage or articular cartilage also there is a film of the lubricating fluid on the articular cartilage just to minimize the friction during the movement now not only this synovial fluid which is secreted by this synovial membrane it is helpful in the providing the uh, frictionless surface but it also helps in nourishment of the cartilage okay that is articular cartilage since they are avascular not supplied by blood vessel this synovial flat then another importance of this synovial membrane is that in between the synovial cells of the cellular lining of this membrane there are some phagocytic cells which can engulf the debris okay that tissues okay which if is lying inside the synovial cavity or joint cavity that will be uh, those which are worn out tissues are worn out debris they are eaten away okay they are removed from the cavity removed by the phagocytic cell so this is that synovial membrane let us come to the next component of the synovial joint and that is ligament now this is structure which is covered by the articular capsule which is inelastic is strong but it is not that strong as it is able to hold the two articulating bones with each other just to provide the additional support to the articulating bones proximal and distal if it is a limb bone then there is the presence of the ligaments and ligaments are again the fibrous band which are usually the thickening of the capsule itself i will just use an another shade of the green color okay and then we'll just draw the capsule with the thick line so this is the capsule which is considered to be the hmm, thickening of the fibrous capsule itself or it may be a little away from the fibrous capsule a band of the fibrous tissue coming from proximal bone and going to connect the distal bone okay it is not completely surrounding so this fibrous capsule or the bands of the fibrous tissue again collagen fiber inelastic in nature very strong and they help in binding the ends of the two bone so this is called as ligaments hmm? there may be many ligaments in a joint which are on various surfaces of joint anteriorly posteriorly or on the sides two sides there may be some oblique ligaments also which are connecting the two bones okay these ligaments which are the thickening in the fibrous capsule itself a band of the collective tissue hmm, they are mostly called as the true ligament okay true ligaments and this they hold the ends of the two articulating uh, bones there may be some ligament which may be away from the articular capsule and they may be accessory which you will learn in detail later on okay later on then we come to the next point or next uh, structure in the synovial joint is the articular disc or menisci not in this joint okay but there are few joints in our body where there is a presence <coughs> just a minute there is a presence of a disc which is fibrocartilaginous which lies between the two articulating bone so if i will draw here a disc like structure here which is dividing the cavity also into two compartment upper and lower and this is hmm, the fibrocartilaginous disc for example this may be a little wrong diagram because hmm, the synovial membrane is not touching I mean say only to the margin so this is an um, uh, disc which is called as articular disc which is seen in say for example in temporomandibular joint 
or sternoclavicular joint there may be some incomplete disc also which may be the labrum okay or menisci they are as you will learn later but at this stage only just understand that sometime very rarely there may be a articular disc may be there between the two articulating bone okay which may be a complete disc dividing the joint cavity into two segments or two compartments or it may be an incomplete disc only present at the margin hmm, between the two articular which is called as menisci okay now these articulating disc and menisci are always present in those joints which have to exert much more force okay that means uh, they have to absorb the forces so they act as a shock absorber just like articular cartilage and they also help in lubrication of the articular surface this completes the various component of a synovial joint okay and this you will just in a nutshell once again i will revise with me you also revise and keep on noting that a Synovial joint is characterized by the presence of a cavity, which is very important. If there is no cavity, it cannot be a synovial joint, okay, which is called as the synovial ca cavity. And then there is an articular uh, cartilage, which is covering to the ends of the uh, bones, okay, which are articulating in nature, okay. So it is covered by articular cartilage. Then there is a fibrous capsule which is binding the two ends of long bone which is a thin inelastic collagen uh, fibrous membrane okay which is called as the articular capsule act as a sleeve hmm, surrounding to the two ends of the bone okay ends of the bone that is articular fibrous capsule it is called as and this cavity okay except at the articular cartilage is surrounding i mean say lining to this structure okay so the cavity is lined by the synovial membrane which secretes the synovial fluid if this structures are there okay then it is a synovial joint so these are the characters of the synovial joint hmm, are indicating the structure of the synovial joint okay synovial joint thank you very much for watching this very simple and very short hmm, structure i would say video uh, just teaching you the synovial joint okay synovial joint this can be studied later in great detail each and every component okay can be studied later. Thank you very much.